Yo, what's up guys? This is Maroy here, the first video fact. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do some Audi bass. Okay, so hear me I know. Before I continue on watching some reaction videos, I mean, before I continue on doing some reaction videos, I just decided to make another tutorial. And due to some requests, of course, and some other requests. Marami salamat yo. So, uh, yep, we're going to talk about OD Bass now. OD Bass is. Una na rin ko kaya na kay Villain. So, kaso yung sa kanya, may mga advanced variation. So today I'm just gonna teach you guys the basics of OD bass. How is it being executed? <laughs> just a heads up, there are I, I know someone who does the OD bass over a tutorial in Filipino language. So if you haven't checked her out, her name is Maddie Beats. She's from the Philippines, well, and she's gonna represent Philippines and the World Beatbox Championship that will happen on August 2018 and uh, she will be on a female division or female category so yeah she already did the tutorial about OD base so you might want to check that out just in case na hindi niyo maintindihan yung pagtuturo ko because I'm gonna teach you guys the way I learned it so, ayun, pwede kayo. Oh, if you haven't seen her tutorial, yeah, you can visit my description box. Nilagay ko dun yung link ng tutorial niya in Tagalog. And then, meron din in Bisaya ata. Ewan ko na, namutan ko na. Okay, so the main point of this uh, tutorial or OD bass is pinag-combine nyo yung sound ng letter R na vibrate, rolling R, and yung T. Parang RT yung pattern niya. RT. <laughs> Hindi masyadong rinig yung T. Kasi nagiging alalay lang siya para ma-vibrate mo ng maayos ang OD bass. Basta combination siya ng R at T. So, uh, okay. So, we're just th that's just the main gist of OD bass itself. Yung, mga ba yung pinaka-basic ng OD bass. R and T. So remember that. Remember that R and T, alright? Kasi babalikan natin yung mamaya. Okay, so we are going to divide this to three steps again. Kasi pabarito ko yung steps na yan. Tatlo lagi. So, R. Okay, so the first step, I want you to focus on the idea of kapag, ano, may, nung bata kayo, kapag naliligo kayo sa poso or sa banyo, Tapos, binubusan, naliligo na kayo, diba? Tapos may napupuntang uh, tubig sa bibig nyo. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ginaganan nyo siya. So, may, yung may lumalabas na tubig. So, kapag may lumalabas na tubig, if you notice, pag gumaganan ko, yung pressure, or yung nag execute or tumutulong para lumabas yung tubig is hindi yung mismong bibig nyo dito sa taas. Dito sa baba. Kasi ginag parang inaangat nyo yung dila nyo dun sa taas, ba Ginaganan nyo. Parang mararamdaman nyo na dito yung um, gumagalaw na muscle and dito lang yung pressure. Diba? Yung, yun yung ginagawa nyo to, nung bata kayo. Kahit nga hanggang ngayon, ginagawa ko pa rin yung pag manaliligo ako eh. Na kapag may pumapasok na tubig sa bibig ko, ginagawa ko minsan. And, so, hold on to that idea. Yung dito, yung nangyayari. And yung idea na lumalapat yung dila nyo doon sa taas. Or, oh, gano'n. Then, dito yung tumutulong. Dito yung, uh, 
nag-execute ng movement and yung dila. Okay? So, if you haven't tried that yet, lungkot ng childhood man. If you haven't tried that yet, then you may want to try that now. Dun sa lababo nyo. Try nyo lang. Too big. Yan. Yung idea na ganyan. Ha? Pero hindi natin gagawin yung buong labi ng... Walang ganun. Yung dito lang na part, yung kukunin natin na idea. Yung dito yung gumagalaw, then yung dila na lumalapat dun sa taas ng ngalangalan nyo. Or sa, oh, sa may ngalangalan nyo banda. Okay? Okay. So that's the first step. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> Second, ito na. Oh, shit. Ang hirap. Okay, so second step, you should know how to pronounce the letter H A R. Har, 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 har. Now you you might want to practice that har, 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 har. For now, advantage to ng may mga or advantage to ngayon ng mga marunong mag-pronounce ng matigas na R. Rrr, rrr, kasi dito lahat niyan magagamit. So just pronounce the word har, 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 har. Today I'm gonna make another tutorial with that R pronunciation, the hard pronunciation of R, right after this OD bass. So just stay tuned, alright? Kung mararamdaman nyo, kapag rrr, nararam, kung mararamdaman nyo, yung R nyo gumaganon, di ba? Har, 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 har. Diba? Kapag nagpo-pronounce kayo ng har. Now practice that, okay? So, that's the second step. So, gets nyo na yung second step. Now, combine the thought na sinabi ko sa kanyo kanina about sa first step. Yung parang yun. And pronunciation ng har. It will sound like Har, 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 har. Yes, yun yung main idea ng first step kanina. Kasi dito lahat ng pressure or dito lahat ng movement, majority of the movement will come from here. Ito yung mag-aangat ng dila nyo doon papunta sa ngalangalan nyo sa taas. Habang pinopronounce nyo ang word na H-A-R. Now practice that first and second step na combined. Practice that. No rush. Just keep on doing that. Har, har, har. Okay? Third step. Ito na yung pagpigil ng inyong hininga habang pronounce nyo ang H-A-R. Kapag pinigilan nyo ang inyong paghinga habang ginagawa yung har na yan, basically, mawawala ang pronunciation ng h at mawawala ang vocalization ng A. 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 Ang matitira lang talaga ay yung posisyon ng bibig ng letter A at yung R na word kapag pinigilan nyo ang inyong paghinga. Now, let's try to do this. Hold your breath. And pronounce the word H-A-R. So, ang matitira lang talaga is yung R. Pero yung posisyon ng bibig ng A, andun pa rin. Pero kapag binocalize mo, kunyari, kapag tinuloy mo paghinga mo, tapos wala yung H, yung magiging tunog niyang ganito, R, 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 R. Pero this time, kasi pipigilan na natin yung paghinga natin. So, yung mawawala talaga yung A, A, ang matitira lang talaga yung H yung R. So, ang, matitira, ang, mag ang magiging tunog niyan ay ganito. Pigil ng paghinga. First step and second step.
kapag naging ganyan yung tunog ng inyong Audi base, congratulations. Medyo nakukuha nyo na yung idea ng Audi base. Okay? Just a recap. First step. Remove the part na remove that. Yung thought lang na. Second step is to pronounce the letter H and H A R. Third step is to cut off your breathing. Inhale. Hold that breath. Gets? Ang kailangan nyo nalang gawin is hanapin yung tunog na magiging parang malalim yung tunog niya. Kasi, um, probably, kapag first time yung ginawa to magiging tunog lang niya na ganito. Mahina pa lang. So, that's alright. Okay lang yan. As long as mag-vibrate yung etong part ng dila nyo. Doon sa may ngalangalan nyo kapag ginagano nyo. Gets? Okay, so that's it guys. Oh, in the uh, practice beats, kapag nakuha nyo na yan, kunyari, mas okay siya. Ma mas madali nyo makukuha ang OD bass kapag nilagyan nyo ng basic beat. Alright, so, iyan guys. Kick, OD bass, snare, OD bass, kick, OD bass, snare, OD bass, kick, OD bass, snare. Gets? Okay, so that's it guys. Um, I hope you learned something from me today. I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna make another reaction video um, for Grand Beatbox Showcase Battle 2018 uh, semifinals na. So if you haven't seen my reaction videos, you can check out the description box below. I've placed all of the links there. And if you haven't seen some of my tutorials, I really do suggest you check out my playlist that I placed on my description box as well. So, yep, I'm gonna see you on my next reaction video. It's gonna happen maybe tonight. Uh, maybe Swiss Beatbox is gonna upload it tonight. So, see you soon, bro.